Fyodor Yurishikin will be EV1, wearing the red striped suit. Alexander Sasha, my Serkin, will be EV2, wearing the blue striped suit. They will egress the Piers, or DC-1, module. Sasha will be the first crew member out. Fyodor will hand out the Indicator Science hardware, along with the pressurized container, and he will follow. The two crew members will translate around DC-1 to Strela-1's boom and translate up to the service module and FGB interface. Fyodor will hold the pressurized container while Sasha translates up to a Coors connector panel There he will connect a series of connectors to test out the Coors hardware. Once that's complete, he will inform MCC Moscow that he has connected the connectors. He will translate back to the pressurized container and along with Fyodor will translate up to the FGB and attach the pressurized container to the FGB latching platform. They will open up an MLI panel and disconnect panel number two flow control valve on the FGB. They will remove number two flow control valve and temp stow it open up the pressurized container and retrieve the spare flow control valve and install it on the FGB and remating the connector. They will stow the failed flow control valve in the pressurized container. Once that's complete, they will install cable clamps along the FGB to be utilized for a future EVA. They will retrieve the pressurized container and translate back towards DC-1. They will install an additional cable clamps along their way. Once that's complete, Sasha will translate back to the Coors connector panel and demate the connectors that he mated prior to this. The test should be complete at this time. The crew members will translate back down to Strela 1's boom. back around DC-1 to temp stow the pressurized container. They will retrieve the indicator science hardware with the science hardware they will translate back up to Strela 1's boom to MRM-2. Here they will install indicator science hardware on MRM2. Once it's installed, the indicator science hardware will be deployed and a connector 
from the indicator science hardware will be mated to MRM2. Crew members will then translate around MRM2 to retrieve Venoslavost's panel. It will translate back down Strela 1's boom, back to DC 1 and the EVA ladder. Back at DC 1, they will translate to the EVA ladder and stow Venoslavos panel number 2 and the pressurized container inside DC 1. They will translate out to the SM or service module and install a series of gap spanners between handrails to be utilized on a future EVA. After the gap spanners are installed, they will demate two connectors from photon gamma from the monoblock and remove photon gamma from the monoblock after installing an MLI cover. We'll translate to the smaller diameter of the service module and temp stow photon gamma, then translating around the smaller diameter of the service module, they will install two additional gap spanners. Once the gap spanners are installed, the crew members will translate back to photon gamma retrieve it and translate it back to DC-1 where Fyodor will ingress, retrieve photon gamma, stow it inside DC-1, and Sasha will follow ingressing DC-1 and closing the hatch. This would conclude Russian EVA 33.